Mm. That's it right there. What's going on, people? Today, my mother's gonna be showing me how to make a sweet potato pie. This is a great holiday recipe, and if you wanna see more recipes from my mother, make sure you go to her page, Kitchen Goddess 68 Go to her page and support her, man. She's got a lot of great recipes, right? Yeah. What kind of recipes you got on there? <laughs> Collard green fried ribs. Dressing. Dressing. We got a little bit of everything. So, you know, you know, the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that kind of stuff. So she got all the recipes on there for you. So go to her page, support my mother. She's a great woman. She's a great cook. I've been eating it all my life, so I would know. So let's get to the recipe, and we're gonna show you guys my favorite sweet potato pie on the planet. Now, growing up, I always, always had a debate with my mama over who had the best sweet potato pie. I was young, I didn't know no better. You know, I always thought my grandma had the best sweet potato pie. But, in my mom was, man. But the reason why I like your sweet potato pie is because it's not thin, it's always thick. It's thick, it's hearty, it's sweet, a little bit salty. It's pretty good, man. So, you know, I'm gonna have to learn what's going on here. So, what we're gonna use? The spices that I'm gonna put into the sweet potato filling, I'm gonna put nutmeg in it, vanilla, a little salt. This is my favorite salt. What kind of salt is this? This is uh, real salt made by uh, Redmond. Mm. And then I'm gonna put cinnamon in it. <clears throat> this right here, um, I'm about out of it. And I'm going to use just a little bit of it uh, today to show you. But this is a nutmeg right here. And um, really, it's just a whole nutmeg. It's a whole nutmeg, and I'm going to grate some, some of it in it. Uh, then we're going to use some evaporated milk, uh, egg, and sugar. First thing you're going to do is, like I said, you want to <clears throat> determine if you want to bake these potatoes or if you want to uh, boil these potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and boil these right now. The reason I dice these potatoes up because they cook faster. You know, instead of doing, you know, putting the whole thing in. Mm -hmm. So I decided to cut mine. Sometimes I might do this if I get lazy, don't want to cut them. But I go ahead and do this right quick. And, you know, it, you know, if you put them in whole, take probably about 40 minutes to, to cut. So I'm just cutting them like this, make them a thick chunk like this. You don't want to cut them too thin, just chunks. Got my mama holding the camera right now. Good job. You doing a good job. Yeah, I hope my whole face on here, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Huh? All right, Red, pick up the knife and cut the potato. Leave that potato on up. Yeah, I'm cutting it on the ground. Cut I'm it cutting head. it in half. Wait a minute. Cut it in half. Boom, All like right. that. Mm -hmm. All right, now make big chunks. Just cut that in half and that's it. And put it in there. Next, once you get through with your potatoes, you're gonna fill it with water. And these gonna cook, I don't know, just check on them in 30 minutes. Now you don't want these potatoes to get mushy, you want them to get just right. And when you put the fork in it, you'll know when they done. And then you're gonna turn the um, stove on right here. I put it on high until it comes to a rolling boil and then I turn it down on medium or so. Sometimes, you know, even though I have a lid, it's a habit too, and sometimes, you know, growing up, you know, you didn't have a lid, so we put aluminum foil on, a, on, a, on, a, on this right here, you know, because we didn't have a lid. But on this one, I do have a lid, but I still like to put the aluminum foil over it because it trapped the heat in there and make it cook faster. That's my opinion. So I just do this right here, and um, like that, I use aluminum foil pretty much uh, doing this all the time. I don't like to buy um, the frozen pie in the pan. That's just my preference. And I always like to use these glass containers. And when you, when Red mentioned the thickness he liked, this is this nine inch uh, pie pan that I use. All you're gonna have to do is just do this right here and just roll your dough out. See that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much easy. If it cracks, you know, you're gonna put it back together. So you're gonna do this. See that right there? Mm -hmm. Like I said, if your food, if you present your food, you know, uh, pretty on the table, you know, you it, you can enjoy it better, you know. Because mm -hmm. you eat with your eyes. Yep, just trying to make it look pretty. I'm not trying to make it perfect right now. I'm sprinkling a little cinnamon on mine on the pie crust. 
I'm gonna cook my pie crust for a little bit because at the bottom, I don't want my pie crust to get soggy. And sometimes, you know, I don't bake it sometimes when I don't want to do that step and the crust still come out, you know, pretty good. I think I always put a little holes in mine like this. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let mine bake in the oven for about on 400. With some beans on top of it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Doing some beans on the crust. I ain't never seen this. This right here is the way, the way to crust down. You know, uh, this, they call this the bean weight. Mm. So this is some of the stuff that, you know, I learned over the years. You know, the what you do? Weight. Yeah, if what you ain't got no, if you don't have no weight, if you don't have no, what a, what a bean that I have? <laughs> if, you <don't>, <laughs> if you don't have no weight, like, you know, they got weights and stuff in the store, but um, you can just do this to hold your, hold a, the aluminum foil in place. Mm. And I'm gonna let this cook for a minute, for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, just to get brown a little bit. And then that won't have me to have a really soggy crust, you know, if it don't come out right. So, so the purpose of the bean is just the way the aluminum fall down. It don't got nothing to do with the recipe. It ain't got nothing to do with putting no beans in mm. there. Oven, I'm set this in for about 10 to 15 minutes on 400. And then if you see the crust just, Getting that little brown, cover that, cover this up with aluminum foil. Okay, Red, you see how that boiling? Mm -hmm. And so only thing, all you have to do is just get your fork and kind of pierce it like this. And you know, you can tell it getting done because they piercing in, but they need probably about another 10 minutes. That's why I say, that's why I cut mine up so they can go ahead and get done real quick. Mm -hmm. So like I said, if you had put them in that hole, it would have took longer. Okay, see how this pie, this pie shell looking? I'm finna get ready to take this out. And I'm gonna look on the bottom of it. This is what I want. You don't want this pie shell to cook all the way. Mm -hmm. So, you're just doing it so when you get ready to cook your pie, it won't be soggy at the bottom. All right, now I'm finna get ready to take this aluminum foil out, as they call it, the bean weights or whatever. You know, kinda be careful with it too. Mm. I don't wanna break the crust. And make sure you be careful with this thing too, it's hot. So just sit it over there and you see that? Looking and like I might, look. I'm finna sit it in the oven for about another two minutes just to crisp that up just a little bit. I might just leave it alone. Yeah, this is what you want. And the only reason I do this right here, so when I put that pot filling in there and when it get done, that crust won't be just as soggy or whatever. So we're gonna set this to the side till we get ready for our pot. Okay, see, been cooking about 30 minutes or so, so I think they are ready. And sometimes the way I test them, I try to get the biggest one and, you know, just do that and uh, look at it and just make sure it, it's, it's ready. Yep, mash right on up. Yeah. So you can determine if it's done or not. All right, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna come over to your sink and you're gonna strain it. Make sure your sink is clean when you do pour this water in there. Right here. I done drain it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my sweet potatoes back in this pot just to see can I evaporate some of this uh, liquid out. That's why I say it's kind of best to go ahead and um, go ahead and bake your excuse, go ahead and bake your sweet potatoes. See that? That, that, um... Mm -hmm. All that liquid coming out in steam. If you got a bigger pot, you can do the same thing, too. So that's why you got to do this, to get that but, water yeah, off of it. Yeah, you can do this. You don't have to do it, but I do it. See what I'm doing? Well, I'm, that's what makes your sweet potato pie so good. I don't know exactly. about that, Reed. Because you take the extra necessary steps like this. But no, some, like I say, you know, you don't have to do this but it's best to get some of the liquid out. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you can go ahead and bring it over to the bowl. And like I say, watch yourself, cause this stuff is hot. All right, All right what's up, what I gotta do next? All right, Red, 
Go ahead and put the butter in since the, uh, the potatoes are hot. All of it? No, let's just start out with, put that small stick in. Half a stick of butter right here. Uh-uh, uh, chop it up. Oh. <laughs> he tell you what to do. Right here? Yeah, go You ahead. watching the camera? Or what, what you yeah. got the camera on? Make sure you watching me now. Put that in there. Throw that up there. And then um, go ahead and cut a half of that other butter. And you can get any brand of butter you want. But like I say, I like a, a pretty good butter. Uh, you can catch some butter on sale. And oh. you know, if I catch the good kind, like uh, what that brand that? Uh, Kerrygold. I like Kerrygold and that uh, Land O Lake or some butter like that. Just push it in there. Cause you want that to melt in there. Mm. We ain't gonna put the eggs in cause it's too hot right now. Mm. Cause when you put eggs it. in, it gonna cook the um, egg. Open your sugar up. One cup of sugar. Just dump it in there. You ain't got the I like delicate way. <laughs> well, I still gonna turn out good. All right. Um, you might, we're gonna use that sugar, but I just like to start out with a cup and then go from there. Get this can of milk, mm -hmm. open it up. Get Look, a can I'll show you how oh, to you can just hold it, stick it Hold your hand. hand. Don't, uh-uh, let me show you. Huh? Uh-uh, let me show you how to do it. <laughs> I was supposed to do it, what you want me to do? I'm gonna show you. If you don't have a can opener, you know, which I, I got one, make sure you shake this milk. And you know, if you wanna do it just quick, just do it. You know, don't do that. I could did that. <laughs> just put a cup of milk in there. One cup? Yeah, just put a cup, but don't pour it just yet. That's the evaporated milk. You get any brand you want. You know, that's a cup. You know, they got the one called, what is it, Carnation? That mm -hmm. brand, as we call it, that's good milk stock. But like I said, you can get the Kroger brand for like a dollar twenty nine cents. Okay. Uh, start out with half of it. Don't stir yet. Huh. Okay, put that down. Next, you're gonna get the season. Start with the cinnamon. You're gonna put about a teaspoon. Ooh. You ain't that man. Just pour. It. That's good for now. Mm -hmm. Get the lemonade right here. Lemonade. Okay, that's good enough. And the only reason I start out small because like I said, you don't want to overdo, especially the nutmeg and all that type of stuff. You don't want to overdo it. So when we get through beating this up, we're going to start tasting it. Um, no. Just put about a teaspoon or two teaspoons in there. Just put some in there. Okay. You ain't got, don't just take one out. Don't put it in there. Now, chop it up? Yeah, get that grater that I showed you. Mm. You know how to use it? Yeah, just, just, yeah, just set some of that over. Now that's the one I like. And I'm using a little bit of it. It's not that fresh because I had it in there for a minute. So, but I always buy that right there. That right there, take it to another level for some reason. If you don't want to use that grated, I mean that one that already grated, buy that right there. Mm. All right, Red. Smell good. Yeah, it smell, it's it smell real good. Just sprinkle a little salt. I'm gonna start out, just, just sprinkle some. Not too much red. That's good enough for now. All right, we're gonna start. And make sure your, like your milk at a room temperature, your egg at a room temperature too. So we're gonna go ahead and just start out with two eggs. Mm. You don't wanna put too many eggs in there because you don't want no, you know, no egg custard. So we're gonna do two eggs. Right. So I can stir it now. No, you're gonna beat it. <laughs> Go ahead, get the egg beater. It's a quart. Oh, Is it on? Wire. Turn okay. it on. Okay. It's not on. It's not it. on. Wait, how you turn it on? <laughs> By plugging it up. Oh. You start beating on low. On low. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Boston, don't beat it around. You ain't got to be jumping with just start beating it around. Now, pick up your speed and look at them. Hopefully that smooth on the potato thing. Don't hit the side. All right, you did the heavy work. Let me show you something. <laughs> she, like she itching to get back over to the side of the table. <laughs> I'm gonna show she you. Can, <laughs> can't stand me up here messing up her recipe. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be learning something. You today. did learn. You just did the. What well, she can't stand me over here messing up her recipe. I'm gonna show you something right Come here. Come on. Come on. So you are uh, doing this. Okay, now this is the time that um, I know it got eggs in or whatever, but uh, this is the time I'm going to test it. Hey, little egg ain't never hurt nobody. Okay, the sugar amount is right, but I'm just going to add, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add just a little bit more sugar, maybe one uh, one fourth a cup. I'm going to do this. And then... Uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little cream to it. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to add a little bit to mine. And make sure it's at room temperature. And this the whip. This is the cream, the heavy cream I use. The great value from Walmart. Uh, I think it costs like $3 in some sense. And um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add a tad more cinnamon. That's just me. Just testing a little bit but again and, this is all the taste right yes if and you a, want yours a little more sweet a little more cinnamon just add more in there and another thing is you can add a little ginger to this or a little cold uh, clove but like i say you know taste this and taste to see if you want to add more um nutmeg or cinnamon in it you know or sugar or sugar you know or butter or whatever <laughs> when it comes to a sweet potato pie it should have about at least one cup maybe one fourth on, on one single pot. So it's to you. So I'm gonna grab me some more of this cinnamon, I mean this uh, nutmeg in here. And like I say, this is my favorite nutmeg. And um, you can find this pretty much, if you can't find it at Walmart or you know, other store, you can find it find at Whole Foods, Natural Store, Drug Emporial, or something like that. Might add this little piece of butter. And there's a little bit of sugar right there. And a little sugar, a little bit more sugar. Because I'm always tasting. Always a little bit more vanilla won't hurt. Let's see. Let me get it, get it, get it up. I'm going to taste it one more time and see. Yep, it tastes pretty good to me. I cook this way, um, and I'm just used to cooking this way. If I'm not following recipes, some of the stuff that I done did over and over in my head, and I just know, and uh, I'm always tasting it. But you know, when you go to my website or to my channel, you can uh, see the ingredients down below. And like I say, this is just a blueprint. And like I say, when you're cooking, you know, you you always taste, you know as you go and see if you want to add this, take away or whatever, make it your own. Okay, next we finna get ready to pour uh, this pie in the pie shell. Like I say, it might not take all of it, but uh, I'm gonna fill it up to the rim, like this. And remember, you don't have to bake your pie crust, you know. You can just pour this in just like this in your you know, frozen pie shell or whatever. Mm -hmm. And to this, when you do it this way, it just make it feel like, especially when you're using a glass dish, and the glass dish just bake better to me. Mm -hmm. And um, and then it make it feel like, you know, it's just homemade, something that you pour love into. 
see, can I make a little design in it or something? You know, instead of just pointing around with, you know, you know, I learned different things here and there. And it's just, when it bake, it gonna come out, you know, like a little circular, a little pretty design. Okay, for if you have just a little bit of uh, batter left over, you can do this. You can make a potato pun, which I'm gonna show you this on. Potato what? <laughs> I I know that a potato pun, mm. and you know just get you some butter and uh, put around your bowl or melted butter. But I'm just gonna do this. And you know what? When it comes to this, you know, forget the carbs. Either way it goes, a lot of carbs in this filling. So right here, ain't nothing healthy about this pie, even if you put the grease in this So eat pie. this on a cheat day. <laughs> you know, you got cholesterol up in here. You got everything going on up in here. That's why you eat this type of stuff in moderation. But see this right here? And if you want to put a design or something, or just something, I ain't gonna call it a design, but just something where, you know, you can just go, go like this or, you know, like this or something. We gonna go with this. Right here, you can toast this. You can toast this on the stove or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it like this right now. You know, you can make a crumble with some sugar, flour, whatever, but right now I'm just doing this. So you put it in there like that. You know, be gentle when you put your stuff in the oven. Just don't sling it everywhere. And we're gonna put this, this right here probably gonna be done about maybe 20 minutes or so, because it's just a small pudding. And that's it. Let's check on the pie. It's been about, what, 40 minutes already? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna check and see, making sure the crust is okay, and make sure it's not brown and black. So it's looking pretty good now. So it's probably gonna cook, it's been cooking for about maybe 35 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna let it cook for you know, for up to an hour. All right, mm -hmm. let me get this pie. Okay, I want mine to look darker, but I want to test it. How long do you think it been red? About an hour already. Yeah. It's All right. Been an hour. You ready? Yeah. All right. Now we. This pie is pretty much ready, and I'm just gonna do this. If you want to see if your pie is ready, just like a, a chopstick, you know, and you just put it in the middle. And we're gonna look at something. See how it come out clean? Mm -hmm. That means it's ready. But we like our pie a little darker, right, Red? Mm -hmm. So, so you I'm, gonna, it? I'm gonna turn the boil on for about. Your favorite thing, the boil. <laughs> make it darker. Turn it a little darker. So I'm gonna put this back up in here. Um, hit boil and then start. So, like I said, you do not need to leave this area because. You know, once this thing get heated up, it'll start browning. You don't want no, you know, real dark, dark pie or burnt pie on top. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like theirs a little burnt, but I just want mine to brown just a little bit on the top. And we'll be back with it. So I'm gonna take yeah, it out. Yeah, bring it over here. All right, this pie is pretty much ready. So I'm gonna sit it right here for now. Yeah, that's looking all right to me. Looking all right to me. What you about to do to it now? <laughs> okay. What you got right there? Some whipped cream? Some whipped cream. Homemade. So once we finish with this, um, once you bring it to the table, we're going to let it cool down. Normally, you know, during Thanksgiving, we make this stuff before Thanksgiving, and it's been already cool. And, you know, I like my pie cold. So yeah, I, I like, like the, mine ice cold in the refrigerator. Yeah. And like I say, long and set, all the flavors, uh, you know, get in it. Or they can't they, eat, do people eat it hot though? Uh, no, you, you can't eat it like that, really. You mm -hmm. burn your tongue. But if you let it get lukewarm or something, you know, some people like theirs uh, very lukewarm. But like I say, you know, I like mine's cold. So we're gonna let this set and um, we're gonna come back and try this out later on sometime uh, once it settled down. Right now, I have set it in the refrigerator so it'll go ahead and cool down quickly. Uh, you can set this in the refrigerator overnight or you can leave it out, but I like my pie uh, cold. Yeah, I like mine cold too. So what I did was I added a sprinkle of little um, cinnamon over the whipped cream. You don't have to do that. Oh, this At homemade first, I, whipped cream. Yes, I just sprinkled that over there just for decoration. And then here go the homemade whipped cream. It don't take but a minute to whip some whipped cream up. And like I said, it tastes way better than that 
what is it, Miracle Whip, whipped cream. And Ready a, Whip, all that uh, stuff. Yeah, in a jar. And you don't have to have that on your pie. I'm just using I like a little bit for my pie. And that then, look good. Then, like I said, here go the little uh, leftover uh, filling that I made that little casserole out of. All right, I got a nice looking piece right here. Hold on, I'll cut your piece. Let me cut your piece real quick. <laughs> yeah, you want this side right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always trying to make cuts. You want a big piece or a little piece? Just a small. A little sliver. Just, just come in a wedge, just mm. like that. Mmm, just like that. Yep. I do this. <laughs> There you go. All right, I'm getting a little whipped cream. Mm-hmm. It's looking good though. Like I said, I always like my sweet sweet potato pies thick, you know, because like that's how I grew up eating them. And you don't have to use this whipped cream, but like I say, since we gonna go ahead and use a little bit of it, and this is mm. what it's looking like. Tastes like the holidays right there. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you can eat this pie, you know, I always say what well, Rick, in moderation. Moderation. And, we, and I only cook it during the holidays, like mm. Easter, whatever holiday come up when we might sometimes cook it, you know, before that. That's good. Yeah, you eat this in moderation, so she's gonna have one slice and I'm gonna take the rest of the pot with me. <laughs> That's moderation right there. <laughs> If you guys want to see more content like this, more recipes from my mom and us cooking together in the kitchen, please like, subscribe, comment, and let us know who you want us to cook next.